Hey everyone and welcome to Razor's Edge Games.org. I, I don't do advertisements, so I'll do my own. Um, if you are a media coverage, if you cover indie games, um, definitely check out my page. I need more people that cover indie, ga indie games. In two months, we probably have over 500 games uh, listed on the site and we need more coverage. So I want you. So this is the station. This is a sci-fi first-person mystery. Um, you're basically on a recon as a specialist, and you're sent in to investigate this uh, station. Now, there's a lot of uh, description um, as far as what you're going to run into, logs. I'm sure there's lots of uh, detail in, in this. Um, actually, I already know. So most of all, I'll actually be quiet. I won't do too much commentary, but I, I want to show off this game. So let's real quick just go into settings, let you know that uh, it does support. I'm running on Ultra, um, just so you know what it looks like. Um, I also have V-Sync turned off. Um, as far as uh, controls, it supports keyboard or controller. And let's see, screen settings, you can change to whatever monitor you want. Full screen, window mode, you can set the resolution. And uh, with that, let's get started. How many millions of hours have been spent studying space in the pursuit of finding life in the universe? So what would happen if we found it? Not bacteria or an invertebrate, but an entire sentient alien civilization. Questions we've been asking since the beginning of time could finally be answered. But what if the alien species was discovered in a planet-wide civil war? Imagine the debate that would start. Fear is blinding us. Everything our society has done has led us to this very moment. We can't ignore this. What safety and security will be found in contacting a violent alien race? Is this worth risking our safety, our security? As a compromise, a three-person team on board an undetectable space station is sent to research the alien world. Halfway through the mission, the space station's communication, navigation, stealth, everything mysteriously shuts down. Proof that we were spying on a potentially violent alien civilization now floats helplessly above them. In a panic to understand what happened, a recon specialist is sent to investigate and coordinate a rescue with the crew. Welcome to the Aspire.
initiating scan. Scan complete. Augmented reality systems now available. To the critics of this mission, I say it's not sufficient you voice your concerns of danger or ethics. If you are against progress in this moment, you must acknowledge that our very understandings of biology, chemistry, physics, even religion are thrown into question, and you stand in our way.
sure the aliens are a bit savage, but I see no need to condemn them for it. Think about us. Our people crawled out of a violent past, so I wager they too can change. Don't you? I doubt it. The past is always present.
Return tools to retrieve ID bracelet.
So as you can see, there's plenty of uh, puzzles that need to be solved. Um, different interactions with different crates. Um, I don't want to spoil the game. I'm sure there'll be plenty of spoiler videos. But just to show you the physics interaction, uh, the quest. Um, so basically, this is just a pu uh, the space station puzzle. You know, like the sign of we got to restore the robot. There's lots of clues. Uh, the manifest is one here. Um, this is telling us what's in the crates. And I can just scroll through that. So somewhere in there, we've got to find, looks like one more tool. And that'll get us our ID bracelet. Uh, still got to figure out the uh, robot and what these pieces are. Um, but it, really a, a decent game. I, I like it. It's getting positive reviews. Um, and it's indie. Um, I'm not even sure how big this team is. I like shutting the power off. <laughs> so we'll probably do some more videos later on of this. Um, I, I just don't like spoiling the game for players that don't want spoils, but want to actually see what the interaction and uh, the depth of the game. And this is pretty deep. So... I'm sure as we go along, the story and the plot are going to thicken. Um, you've already seen some dialogue from the crew. Um, it's two individuals we're looking for and puzzles along the way. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, this first look. Um, if you want to see more, uh, just let me know in the comments. Uh, if you like the video, click like. If you like this channel and the first look and supporting indie developers, um, subscribe. I definitely appreciate those. So thanks for watching. Again, this is The Station. Uh, the developer and the publisher self-published The Station. So thank you again. Until next time, I'll see you when I see you.